Seafood Scotland have just launched a programme to encourage more children to eat seafood. Over the next couple of months, they'll be travelling to schools up and down the country to teach pupils how important seafood is to their health. Today, Nick and I have come to Brechin High School to see if the pupils here have a taste for shellfish and fish. Another day at school and off to class for the first lesson of the day. This is no ordinary day with maths and English and other subjects Eden. on the timetable. Fantastic. Today, textbooks Eden. are being replaced by the taste and texture Eden. of seafood. Seafood Scotland has launched a programme to educate school children about the quality and health benefits of Scottish seafood. The pupils of Brechin High School and surrounding primaries are the first of many schools to benefit. We're hoping to make kids familiar with seafood. There's so many children who don't eat seafood at home, who've never seen a whole fish, who don't know really where they come from. They see maybe uh, a box of fish you know, in the freezer cabinet. They're not familiar with the whole fish story and they're certainly not really familiar with eating different types of fish. So they have a workshop where they taste some seafood, they look at some seafood. We've got a filleter here showing them what happens to the fish and we've also got somebody working with uh, some big charts that we've developed to show them the journey from sea to plate. Do you like eating fish? Yeah, I can do. What kind of fish do you like to eat? I don't know. You don't know? So you don't know anything about the different kinds of fish? Yes, uh, some of it. Do you like fish? Yeah, most fish. What's your favourite? Um, haddock. Um, like cod and haddock. How do you like it cooked? Like, my granny sometimes makes kedgeree with it. Are any of the fish here today that you're not familiar with? Probably trout. Are there any fish or shellfish that you don't like? No. So you like all fish? <laughs> it's not just about looking at fish in a chiller cabinet or tank. All the pupils get the chance to taste everything from sardines to mussels. This session here has been run by Kat Frankiti from Fish for Health. And the whole idea is they get to try everything what, here. Kat, sorry to interrupt no, you, but how do you go about actually encouraging the pupils to taste this wonderful seafood? Well, I've invited them to my come down with me, but I can already see from the looks in their eyes who's a little bit nervous about trying. So who's not too sure about trying? Right. Well, what I'll say to you is you guys come forward because once I've convinced those that are a little bit uncertain, the rest will trust me. OK, do you want to try a wee bit of smoke trout? Yes. Let's give it a go. Good man. Well now, done, that fella. Trust me. There we go. There you go. Oops. Not just a problem. Oh well, that can just go in the, into the bin. Straight in Right, there. now you trusted me. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> will we start and go on with the mackerel now then? Yeah. yeah. There we go. You've got a tail there. That should be good. What are you thinking? Thumbs up? Hey! Now, this part of the world is just a few miles along the road from Arbroath, so you'd think that most people would have tried Arbroath Smokies, but apparently not. Ian Spink here has been, quite literally, smoking in the playground all afternoon. Ian, how's it going? Hello, Dougie. And, Very well, thanks. And how's the reaction been to Arbroath Smokies from the pupils? Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I think it's, it's, it's really important for them to see where it comes from, see it being cooked for them in front of them as well. Uh -huh. OK, so, how to bone an Arbroath Smokie? You lay it down on its back, Take the skin down to the tail and you just pull it apart like that. Easy as that. So that fish now has only got a few wee bones left down the side of there. All that lovely thick white meat has just bone free. So feel free to tuck in. Well, smoking in the playground is definitely not a good idea and I've just been sent for by the Hidi. Mr Dempsey, I'm very sorry about smoking in the playground, but <laughs> has today been a success, do you think? Well, I think uh, it's been an overwhelming success, and this is very much about what Curriculum for Excellence is all about. It's about showing them how to adopt a healthy lifestyle, healthy eating, and also the story about where the fish has come from in the first instance. So I think that's overall it's been a great success. The first Seafood in Schools project has been a resounding success, and it may just open the mind of these teenagers that there's more to seafood than just a fish supper. What's been good about the day? Uh, you get to find out different things about the fish. Do you like eating fish? 
No, do you? Why don't you like eating fish? I just don't like the taste of it. Do you think after today you might go away and try some fish? Yeah.